People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. Illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple. Until the American people are convinced that we will stop future flows of illegal immigration, we will make no progress on dealing with the millions of illegal immigrants who are here now. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration, which the American people overwhelmingly oppose. If you don't think it's illegal, you're not going to say it. I think it is illegal and wrong. Hmm. Interesting, Mr. Uh, Chuck Schumer. He's not the only one. I think we should have strong border security. Uh, it, it doesn't make sense for us to allow hundreds of thousands of people coming through our borders without us knowing who, who they are. Uh, oftentimes in very hazardous situations uh, and unmonitored situations that uh, could, could do us long-term damage. Oh, so you don't agree with it either, Obama. And you admit that it could cause us some serious harm. Hmm. They aren't the only ones that have said that before either. Someone you guys may recognize recently said the same thing. At least I, as a Democrat, you know, am, am willing and eager to go stronger than the, the border deal uh, that, that was here. It might be actually appropriate given the, the circumstance here. Uh, going stronger go, going with a stronger border deal mm. yeah because that one that you guys proposed um uh, uh uh senator fetterman was pretty darn weak wasn't really a border security bill at all if, if i do say so myself uh it was more of um hey let's legalize this stuff what we're doing so trump can't stop it that's what it seemed like to me but I digress. We're going to be talking about the border crisis today, as I'm sure you guys could have guessed from those first few clips. But first, we're going to get into a ad that is from Western Lensman. Lensman. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Shout out to you, brother or sister or group. I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but wanted to give this individual a shout out. All right. That's where this clip comes from, and it's a ad in favor of Trump, and um, yeah, you guys have to see it. It's absolutely incredible. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new, and let's dive in. I would, in fact, make sure we immediately surge to the border. All those people surge to the border, surge to the border. More than 7 million people, that's how many foreigners have entered this country without permission or documentation. The Venezuelan government is purposely freeing inmates, including some convicted of murder, rape, and those criminals are now entering the U.S. through our southern border. We are using American tax dollars to ship children into known prostitution. Children are being trafficked through a sophisticated network, bad actors seeking to profit off of the lives of children. New details in the murder of Lakin Riley, that sparking massive outrage after her alleged killer was in the country illegally. For a Pasadena girl was found sexually assaulted and strangled. An undocumented migrant illegally crossed into the United States. An illegal immigrant charged in a hit and run that killed a 10 year old boy. The shooting that left a two year old boy dead. This suspect was in the country illegally. I caution against conflating immigration and crime. The data demonstrates that the two are not connected. It is so obvious to me why it feels so dark right now, and that is because we lost one of the brightest lights that there's ever been. On Monday evening, the sunshine wasn't the only thing lighting up the clear blue sky and gold balloons honoring the life of 10-year-old Alex Wise Jr. A line of people from across the community hugging a father going through unimaginable pain. 
hard to imagine the grief that this young mom is going through, seeing her own child killed right in front of her. How did our, our baby die? Surge to the border. Yeah, uh, Western Lensman, you can see the name right there. Shout out to him. Appreciate you. Incredible video, right? Incredible. Um, the stuff has gotten out of hand, man. It really has, you know. Um, I couldn't. I. I. I, I really couldn't. You know. I, I. I really do feel for those parents, man. Like I. I'm over here stuttering because it, it, it's like, come on, like disgusting stuff, man. I'll say that. And when you got illegal immigrants pulling up to a city council meeting, demanding support. You got some problems. Seattle City Council disrupted as asylum seekers and their supporters once again pleaded for support. <laughs> Council President Sarah Nelson saying there are limited resources here. I don't really want to participate in in the, a conversation that should be had with uh, county leaders, state leaders, federal leaders. Council ultimately took a break from the meeting in the middle of chants from protesters yelling on behalf of the refugees. <laughs> At one point, council member Kathy Moore requested that SPD take action. The request that we have police response. Uh, our physical safety is being threatened by the actions of the demonstrators outside banging on the windows. Eventually, arrests were made. It's the second time in two months that the group from Latin America has called upon Seattle leaders to fund their temporary housing. Flying the flag from which you came. The place where you allegedly fleed to seek asylum here in America because it was so terrible back there. But you're still flying the flag here. And you have the nerve to demand that we pay for your life. It's ridiculous, man. But it you get it gets even crazier than that, guys. It really does. Um, check out this clip of what... <laughs> Like, you, you, you literally cannot make this stuff up. You guys remember when Trump said that some of these countries aren't sending their best people? He wasn't lying. And um, here's more proof that one of those countries knows that they are they didn't send their best people because of what they did. Now, they tried to blame it on something else, but just check this out. Venezuela has stopped accepting deportation flights from the U.S. and Mexico after a deal between the nations fell apart. Those flights had been seen as a successful way to try to stem the flow of migrants from Venezuela. Correspondent Ali Bradley is live along the Arizona border. You heard that correctly. Venezuela has started denying or has been denying deportation flights. So apparently there's been some flights that have been sending some Venezuelans back to Venezuela and Venezuela's like, mm -mm. we're not taking them back. Mm -mm. You keep them. Our deal fell apart. So uh, you keep them like wh what? See, listen, I'm I'm nah, we, we ain't playing this game. I'm sending them back to where they came from. Hey, and if you want to leave them on this tar back. Right. If you want to leave them at this airport where they're where, where I'm bringing them to, that's on you. But they're not coming back with me. That's what I'm saying as a president. I brought them back to their land, back to their home. All right. They're all yours now. I'm out like, bro, hey, bro, <laughs> bro. The, America has become an absolute joke at this point, an absolute joke. You going to tell me that I can't bring these people back to where they came from and I got to take them back to where they shouldn't be? Absolute joke under Biden. But of course, of course, as all Democrats always do, they never take accountability for their actions. They've got to blame somebody else. Let me end with this. I understand my predecessor's an eagle pass today. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Instead of playing politics with this issue, Instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, join me or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. We can do it together. You know and I know 
It's the toughest, most efficient, most effective border security bill this country has ever seen. So instead of playing politics with the issue, why don't we just get together and get it done? Let's remember who the heck we work for. We work for the American people. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so you need Trump to get your job done? Trump's not even in office. Trump's this big bad criminal. You want to do business with Trump? You need Trump to get it done. You just said it, Joe. Those aren't my words. Those are yours. So if you can't do it by yourself, then why don't you just step aside and let Trump take over your position and he'll get it done himself? How about that? How about that? <laughs> oh, man, as they always do, they blame Trump. But in reality, it's all his fault. He's even admitted to it before. Check it out. Mr. Vice President, under the Trump administration, asylum has virtually ended. ICE detention centers are practically empty. Uh, your new plan calls for reversing President Trump's harsh plan. But won't that restart a brand new border crisis? I mean, what, what would you do with all those people in camps now waiting in Mexico? It, it will if we don't do it well. If we don't reach out to the, to the, uh, the communities that are willing to, the charitable communities that will come in and help. And, and in addition to us spending millions of dollars providing for access access for judges, access for asylum folks to be on the border, to move quickly. Because if we just say, OK, all done, we I've withdrawn the order. You're going to have a crisis on the other side of the border as well. <laughs> so you admitted that um, this is all your fault. Even Mayorkas was bragging about getting rid of Trump's policies, which you just heard Biden agree that Trump had stopped all of this. You just heard him say that, right? Well, you know what the Biden administration did? Got rid of all the policies that Trump had regarding the border. Um, and I'd like to understand from you what Trump era immigration policies have been banned, ended, reversed and if any investigations are underway by you uh, so we have rescinded so many uh trump immigration policies it would take so much time to list them uh oh it would take a whole lot of time to list them because you've rescinded all of them interesting and you know what's also interesting I came across this clip, you know, while putting this video together, um, and it says a lot. First of all, let me say that we don't use the term illegal immigrants. I actually issued a policy in the Department of Homeland Security. We use the term non-citizen to respect the dignity of every individual as a preliminary matter. Uh, second. Oh. So you care more about terminology than you do the safety of American citizens. Right. Right, right. Interesting. So as you saw there, they both admitted to getting rid of Trump's closed border policies, but now they will try to spin it to blame Trump for the open border. When in reality, Trump's border was closed. Trump had it locked down. You heard Biden admit to it himself. <laughs> Don't you just love the internet? Don't you love it? And uh, cameras, right? Everybody's got them. And uh, these videos live on forever. So we could just pull them up when they start their lying once again, which we all know they're going to do it again um, on something else with something else. Uh, even Chuck Schumer himself, who you guys heard at the very beginning of the video, um, which I'll play again, actually, because, I mean, that's incredible, you know? People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens and illegal. Oh, well, Mallorca said they are illegal aliens. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Share this video. All right. Share this video with all your friends, your family, your neighbors, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters. All right. Co-workers. Because everyone needs to see. 
The Biden administration lying and Democrats lying straight to our face. And we got all the receipts. Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Peace and love. I'm out.